The flexion internal rotation test is a good assessment for hip intra-articular pathology and or labral tears and or hip impingement. What you want to do with the test is it's a completely passive test and you're trying to create a mechanical abutment and or the patient's pain. So typically this patient would come in and complain of deep-seated groin pain. And so they're kind of complaining of their pain being deep in the groin. So a positive response for this test is reproducing that pain. So what you do is you passively take the client's leg up to 90 degrees. No overpressure, and you maintain so that again, there's no adduction like you would with Fadder's test. So in this test is you 90 degrees of flexion. So I'll stabilize in with my cranial hand in this case. My caudal hand is then going to passively internally rotate them to end range. And so the test again is you take them to 90 degrees, no overpressure, but then end range internal rotation with overpressure. So again, a positive response is a deep seated groin pain. And so with it, what happens is with this test is, as I take him to 90 degrees, and then end range internal rotation is that femoral head is trying to mechanically abut or catch on a labral tear and or the, the acetabular rim, which may be extending too far, or the femoral head may be too enlarged. So again, a positive response is concordant pain, clicking, catching, uh, those would all be positive responses. One, go. The flexion internal rotation test biomechanically what happens with that test is you bring the client's leg up to 90 degrees of flexion this time there is no adduction and so then what you do is so 90 degrees of flexion passively internal rotation range of motion to end range with overpressure similar to the fatter's test is what's happening is the femoral head is impinging against the acetabular rim and especially again with a cam morphology or a femoral head too large and or a pincer morphology with an acetabular rim extending out too far laterally is more likely to uh, get a mechanical abutment of the femoral head against this acetabular rim. And also the labrum is in the same location so these clients will have this labral tear and or me mechanical abutment in this location noted by my finger.